General Quarters. What is going on YouTube? AA Ron here. In the Lo Yang for the first look video. And uh, we're going to probably go ahead and throw this game up on YouTube regardless. Uh, as always, stats and commander guide at the end. And honestly, this is a pretty good ship, um, competitively speaking. It's got, you know, long-range torpedoes with the option for the short-range screamer torps that do a little bit more damage, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure because I don't like being limited with my range. Um, at the same time, it's, you know, it's a Benson-class destroyer, um, which, you know, has decent HP. I think it's been a little bit reduced, or it doesn't have the second hull or whatever. And it has four American 127 guns. Now, there's a carrier here, so this ought to be fun. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. I don't think that carrier player knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's running into an American, well, not technically an American, but an American. Uh, oh, I thought that was a Cleveland. Cleveland with us. Leon is with us. But anyway, back to the ship. Um, as I was saying, that you know, this campaign, there's two ships, the Breesland and the Lo Yang. And I, I'm having actually a decent bit of fun with the Friesland, even though, it, like I said in my video, the Friesland is pretty limited in its potentials, um, you know, for in terms of carryability. Now, you can do pretty well in it, um, but the, you, without torpedoes, battleships can just rush you, if, you know, they find a strategic advantage or something like that. Um, so, like I said, very limited, if not any, if, if, if no carry potential for, for the Friesland. Now, this boat does, you know, have that, but I'm just not having that much fun playing it. Uh, and, and, you know, that's half the battle right there, is having fun with the game. Now, competitively speaking, this is probably going to be a pretty good ship. Uh, in just terms of the, uh, the Hydro. Um, let's go ahead and get some cheeky shots on this ship while we smoke up here. Okay. So our, our carrier is actually doing a good job of spotting the uh, smoke screen set. The enemy DD there. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Torpedoes to starboard. <laughs> Let's see if we can get where's this Fletcher? There you are. Didn't want to shoot there and give up concealment. We didn't have our smoke back, but What the f- wow. It is truly a... 6,000 damage with the torpedo. That's another reason I just don't. This ship is just- ugh. I know we are running the short range torps, but... Hopefully this guy smokes up. That was kind of our play here. If he doesn't, we're going to be hurt a little bit. I need my rudder. Wow, 
Aim, thanks for uh, throwing me back there. This guy didn't smoke up, but... Beautiful corpse there. Here. Enemy destroyer blown up. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. And we give the, uh, we just hit the brakes, and he'll fly right by. <laughs> Get a reset. She a little reset. I'm playing with my health here. I just, just kind of don't care at this point. Solo is pretty fun with uh, your three battleships just back here. We're just we're we're doing this for the memes. Looks like we might get the Kansas as well. We need to kill this Fletcher and then eh, we might get the Kansas. We got the reset again. Let's see if we can go trap the Fletcher in his smoke. Are you alive? Okay, not the Kansas. We destroyed an enemy battleship. Siegfried looks like he was pushing out of the cap. How are you guys dying over there? I'm I'm really curious. I have the only three kills. We're gonna we're gonna risk it. Fletcher smoked up. We're gonna send one set through his smoke. That's well, actually, that's not our hydro. Now he's on hydro. Attention, reporting the target position. Generator started. Oh, please. Come on. Okay. Let's see. Let's hope he doesn't notice us. I think he did. No, he doesn't. He did. God damn it, Aaron. Smoke screen set. No, we got him with one. Okay. Requesting assistance. So that should be, yeah. Acknowledged. Okay, our concealment's 5.3. That should be a flood. Flooding. Destroyer foundered. <sighs> I mean, single-handedly, literally carrying this fucking terrible team. Oh my god. How many kills do we have? Four. How many are off the board? Four. Jesus fuck. There's, there's the last DD. Our carrier's been spotting shit, and our Jervis has been taking, you know, a little bit of damage. If this guy can get one more Torp kill, we're gonna get the Flood and the Kraken. We, we, you know what? This guy is shooting Andy Amagi, so we got to thank him for at least shooting his guns, right? Okay. And, of course, the uh, Lexington gets our uh, crack in there, but that's all right. What, what The important part about this is that... Uh, oh, our carrier's dead. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's the important part. And we have an Adkatsuki to kill... We can gun him down pretty easy, but if the carrier focuses us, then I'm dead. Battle ends in five minutes. Enemy destroyer sighted. 
get a little bit closer. Come on, floaty ass American shells. Come on, floaty ass American shells. Or at least, you know, Bismarck, you should be able to get the kill. Our team depends upon you. I think we got the Richelieu. Enemy <sighs> now, can we dodge a Parsable? for four minutes. We're ahead on points. He has bombers up, which is not a big deal. I'm not really worried about bombers. Problem is you want always you want to turn away from bombers and you want to turn into uh, I should have flown over it. Oh he his fighters are gonna engage. Come on fighters. Our carrier actually did a pretty decent job of uh, you know of picking the best available targets. Alright, so he's gonna start his run. Take an overpen. Yeah, I don't need to do anything but sail away. I don't even need to get the B cap. I could I could I could inflate my XP score here by getting the B cap, but we're ahead on points. He, unless he gets into B, and there's no way he's going to do that, he would be detected with the recent con carrier concealment nerf, and yeah. Okay. GG. Now we just need to avoid his torpedo planes. Here they come. Oh wait, is he? St he's coming from that way. So right stick, left stick, right stick. Come on, boys. Can we shoot down some of the planes? Should we tease him a little bit? Let him think that he's going to get us? Psych! You thought! I feel like we should have definitely shot down more planes than five, but... Uh, yeah, that's a GG and a holy shit of a game. Wow. I don't know how I, one, didn't get a Confederate, two, didn't get a high caliber, or any other medals than that, but this should be a rather insane XP score. Looking at the points we're ahead here, should be a victory. Kraken, one assistant cap, nine defense, uh, two DD kills? So, here, I'll shoot for you. You see me? Wow. GG. But, yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. The Lo Yang can be very competitive and a very good boat. It's just sometimes I just don't have fun playing it.
Uh, that was one of the more fun engagements. 3,500 base uh, with the Kraken. Shout out to our carrier. You know, I sometimes you, you just have to be the one to carry your team up from the bottom. Our Bismarck did a good job at the end there, um, landing on that Akatsuki, who I guess had a good game as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. Let's just go ahead and look over the stats. Excuse me, because I'm honestly done playing this. Um, the, one of, you know, something you're going to notice right off the bat is the only commander you will get for when you unlock this ship is Ding. And we, you know, in the CC program, we're calling him Ding Dewey because he's a basic commander. Uh, no, uh, no real, um, he's not dedicated, he's like, he's a, he's a Dewey. He's not dedicated to destroyers. Um, but his, <coughs> excuse me, his base trait is main battery reload time. So that is pretty nice. It, it's not for any ship, so you could stack this with Mimbelli and get your cruiser reload down, like almost 9%. I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but in theory. Um, but this is what we're running Contact Zimit. Look at me now. This one, this one, you know. There, there's a bunch of different perks, but I just upgraded this to Legendary 2, and with Eric Bay, this guy actually goes down to 5.3, uh, which isn't fully maxed out. So as soon as we get a dedicated DD commander, uh, and, you know, you run double concealment, this ship could probably go down to like 4.9. Um, so... Definitely a down to, I think, probably 5.0, 5.1 for sure. Uh, again, because of what, what is it, 6%? So you get 8% and then plus an additional like 3 or 4% for uh, uh, Swirsky if you want to. But again, let's go with the stats. This is what we're running. Uh, aiming, turning, concealment, and then reload. You do have the option for the short torpedoes. Yeah, they do increase damage. Um, and, the you know... You for for the added damage and speed, you lose range, reload time, and um, well, you actually get a little bit of de no, no, you lose detectability as well. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I just like the longer range torps. If you want to range a short one, the rate want to run the short ones, they are there. Stats: sixteen thousand health, four by one twenty sevens. I think you get an added AA mount um, in, in place of a gun, but. Here's the AA-46, not, you know, didn't really do that great in the last game with five planes. Now, our other ships could have gotten some of the, you know, ship planes that we damaged, they could have gotten the kills for. But, you know, it's, the, your AA is present. It's not like a IJN destroyer. You know, it's where there's minimal AA, you know, on a torp boat, on a torp boat or something like that. Pretty good top speed and pretty good turning circle. Actually, very good turning circle with uh, uh, rudder shift time. This ship is, is pretty maneuverable. Um... But to me, it's in some areas, it just it feels sluggish compared to Fletcher. Maybe I'm because I'm so used to Fletcher, it could just be me personally. But the maneuverability is actually pretty good. I didn't really look at those stats. Uh, and yeah, the, and like we said, the concealment is 5.3. Now, the one thing that makes this boat really, really nice is the hydro. Uh, you replace it for your engine mo your engine boost there, and it's detection of torpedoes 3.8, detection of ships 5.4. That's pretty nutty. So if, if you know anything about the game, uh, you look at your concealment here. So if I'm detected at, at 5.3, that means if I pop my Hydro, the ship that detects me, if it's a concealment destroyer, will guaranteed to be detected. So you can stealth sonar, uh, such as the Z-35 used to be able to do. I don't know if it can anymore. But beyond that, um, the overview of the show, the, the overview of the ship, Nimble Aim, Agile, and Extended Smoke. Um, like I said, it's a very competitive ship. I just haven't been having the most fun with it personally. Uh, and that's because I guess I like the the play style of the Friesland a lot better. Um, but this is a good ship nonetheless, and, and don't, you know, discount it. Um, now, unfortunately, Wargaming is making us choose if you only want to spend, like, the $10 for the 2500 doubloons. And honestly, I, I think I'm still just picking the Friesland. The Loyang is a good boat, do not get me wrong. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to be spending $70 just to get it, or 65 or whatever. You know, that's a personal choice. If you want a wallet, go ahead. I have walleted before. I just walleted to buy more doubloons to do my crate video because my internet fucked it up. So, um, you know, no, no uh, harm in walleting. But, yeah, that's the Lo Yang, guys. Uh, a very competitive, nice little boat. Uh, but just, you know, personally, it's just not... I won't be taking it out too much even if I do get it. So, But, yeah, guys, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the... Literally pulling my team back from the bootstraps. Like comment you know let, let, let me know what you think subscribe if you're not already a run out peace